Hey everyone, Kachi Vestry back to another SoFi N Square video for you today. This is not a partnership video like we've seen with the SoFi Stadium N Square a week or so ago. This is just going to be a video on going over the news for SoFi and the one for Square. We're going to have a look at the graph as well because it's been a very, very difficult week if you own any of these growth stocks. Stocks are down, but the companies are actually doing very, very well. So we're going to go over the very significant news, we're going to go over the graph. But before I do so, I just want to thank everyone that has been subscribing lately. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, we're on the way to 18,000 subscribers. So I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. And if you like these videos, leave it an early thumbs up as it really helps me outgrow the channel and get my videos out there. So without further ado, let's dive into this. All right, so first up we have SoFi. We've seen the stock in the last couple of weeks go up quite significantly from the low $14, then going over that $18 mark. It stayed there for a day, then we saw a red candle, and then obviously this big red one right here, it just sits on that 50 and 20 day moving average quite nicely. So if we can see a rebound there, that's very, very positive. Now you might ask yourself why such a big red candle besides the fact that the market was very, very red yesterday and two days ago. So this is actually the reason. Now this is an updated article. The original one was for $750 million. They increased the size of the offering to $1.1 billion. So mix that the offering with the market being extremely red and you get an extremely big red candle for the stock. But again, for the future, this is just going to help them grow and expand much quicker. But we also had some good news with regards to the buy now, pay later market. And if you've noticed on the thumbnail, you've probably seen MasterCard in the background. So MasterCard reinvents installments to give consumers more payment choices wherever they shop. So MasterCard obviously is not going to stay quiet and look at the buy now, pay later market that has been growing extremely fast in popularity recently. So what are you going to do? They're obviously going to offer that as well. Now you might ask yourself, okay, cool, but how is SoFi going to gain from this? Well, here is the answer. So MasterCard is going to work with Barclays UF, Fifth Third, FIS, Galileo, Huntington, Marquetta, SoFi, and a couple of others. So they're going to work with both Galileo and SoFi. Also, by the way, MasterCard is also perfectly positioned because if you remember when we talked about a firm, also that video will be in the top right corner, Square and Afterpay as well. But MasterCard is basically the middleman. You have both banks on the other side, the issuing bank and the purchasing bank. So in the future, let's say if there is an economic collapse and everyone that has been buying now but suddenly can't be paying later, that debt is not going to sit with MasterCard. It's going to sit on those banks. So MasterCard is actually very, very well positioned. They just process payments and that's how they make money. And last thing regarding SoFi, and that's with regards to their bank charter. So I stumbled upon a SoFi support reply. So Binion225 tweeted, I love hearing bank charter. Come on, let's go already. To that, SoFi support answered, we're excited to be well underway in the process of becoming a nationally chartered bank. Banking with SoFi will be mobile fully featured banking experience powered by the SoFi app and featuring checking and savings accounts. Stay tuned. So I think it's safe to say that they are very, very confident of getting that banking license very soon. So that will wrap up SoFi's part of this video. Now let's jump into Square. So looking at Square's graph, unlike SoFi, Square has actually been going down since a couple of days after the earnings report. We've seen the earnings, big spike up after that announcement of them acquiring Afterpay. But after a couple of days, the stock has actually been going down and down. Now it's very, very close to that 200 moving average. So if you're looking to open a position or maybe add, maybe look out for that $230 mark. But then again, as you can see right here, we're at 236, 238. This is pre-market. So are those six to eight dollars going to make a huge difference in 10 years time? I don't think so. But the big news with Square is that they have partnered up with TikTok to help businesses expand their reach and are going to expand their reach by quite a lot because TikTok, it was recently announced that they have over a billion monthly active users, making it one of the fastest growing social media platforms. And if you have TikTok for business, you can now quickly and easily set up a free, fully integrated Square online store 
and start selling right away. It will basically look something like this. This is obviously TikTok. You can see here denim jacket. This is the item sold on that picture, on that video. Then when you click on it, you'll get redirected to a Square online store and then complete your payment. This partnership is actually great from both sides. Let's take the Square seller side, for example. Suddenly the reach has increased immensely. Can attract more users. More users mean more money flowing into Square's ecosystem. Suddenly maybe more people will use Cash App, Afterpay, you name it. Now let's go on the other side. So TikTok, let's say you have TikTok for business, but you do not have a Square online store. Maybe now you'll create one. Maybe now you'll even use Afterpay, Cash App, you name it. Again, more integrations from the Square ecosystem, more money will go and flow into that ecosystem as well. So this partnership is really, really great. We've seen that with Shopify as well. Shopify has also partnered up with TikTok, I think a couple of weeks ago. So again, this is great. 2021 has really been a great year for execution for Square. I'm very happy I hold Square and SoFi, but obviously Square has been with me for a very, very long time. So that will be it for this video. Let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts are on both companies' news. Have you been adding in the last couple of days? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like this video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, maybe hit that subscribe button. And as always, guys, take care, stay safe, and see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.